Henry King first met Albert Speer, one of the major defendants of the Nuremberg trials, at the Nuremberg prison in the late summer of 1946. King was interrogating Speer in connection with his role as the chairman of the Central Planning Board, the body that had supreme authority for the scheduling of German production. ...to slave labor of German nationals and nationals of other countries, in the course of which millions of persons were enslaved, deported, ill-treated, terrorized, tortured, and murdered. And it was um, necessary to establish a new after a war, which on mainly on the side of the Germans, but also on the other side, uh, had gone in disorder in which uh, the international laws were no more <coughs> um, obeyed, and um, uh, and human principles were. Uh, uh, no, were neglected. I, of course, I was in the dock, I was a German and a German minister, and uh, I had mainly to deal with the reproaches which were um, in the, by the prosecution uh, given to those uh, 21 in the top <coughs> and as you know I agreed in this time with uh, the fact that uh, those responsible are held responsible. There, there were many hopes during the Nuremberg trial uh, also by the uh, uh, legal people of the Western uh, uh, nations that this uh, trial will start a new uh, world in which uh, legal principles of the Nuremberg trial would be held uh, would be developed into an international law. We all know that those uh, uh, those goals uh, had turned out to be dreams, and that uh, many things happened in the world which were contradictory to the laws which had been established in Nuremberg trial. From the very beginning the feeling that uh, Hitler uh, was uh, impressed by my personality even before he had proof that I am a good architect. This is uh, shown by this fact that he uh, you know, it's described with my insights as well. I said he was inviting me for uh, for lunch in his home and would let me sit on his side and uh, and there were Goebbels and Göring also others and I didn't I didn't understand why but he had he had some uh, he had already sent before I was his I think he had some uh, some um, he had found some uh, some empathy. 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 Yeah. He, when I was really his architect, um, of course he... No, not of course, it was... I was an exception. He was not interfering in my plans. We were discussing my plans and he made often proposals to change one thing or other one. And I but I was free to... Uh, um, uh, to make a counter proposal and I could tell him the reasons for my proposal and for his proposal and um, then he said well you do as you like. A trait of him which was significant during all the time when I knew him and even before I think so far as I know his history 
boss said he was thinking only in ways of an aggressive type. You know, the psychological way of being an aggressive type. And he was such an aggressive type, he couldn't... Um, it was uh, not only the, the, his hate of the Jews and how he did it in an aggressive way, uh, it was also his whole warfare was, uh, was uh, done in an aggressive way and even when it was would have been better to make a line of defense as the generals wanted it and, uh, and uh, 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 proposing it he, he even then made the biggest mistakes by uh, not defending Germany at the Dnieper but to go with a, with a big offensive uh, try to go to the uh, to Tiflis in there, you know, right. and then afterwards again, when the situation was even more desperate, he didn't use his troops to fight the advancing Russians, but he made this crazy offensive uh, in the Ardennes, you call it, it was yeah. a, he was a very gifted man, without doubt, and uh, the main thing, he had also this gift of uh, uh, mesmerizing other people could have mes could mesmerize uh, uh, people. Um, I I just had an interview lately with uh, American uh, network, and uh, I told them, well, you have similar examples if you only remember when uh, John Kennedy was in Germany. Here, after one or two days, the whole people was so enthusiastic about him that they would have done everything for him. Or if you think of, um, of another example of Billy Graham, what he is doing is really something which is what he is uh, not doing, what he is uh, successfully doing is uh, something which is uh, also in this line of mesmerizing people. And you can go back to Luther or to Cromwell or or to other leading men of history and uh, you will shall find that uh, Hitler's gift of mesmerizing people is not unique, it is a thing which happens now and then and sometimes in a very dangerous way. How do you want to be remembered? Uh, there are three, three achievements which are in the mind of people. Uh, Worthwhile, and that is the architect, and that's the minister, and that is the author. So I, I don't know what. To do. Of course, I would like to be. Uh, I, I would like best that also, also things with uh, the armament and with uh, and the connection of uh, the, uh, forced labor with the armament so would be. In, more in the background, I am more remembered as naive, which is a, was a cleaner job. So that your preference is, as between the armament minister yeah. and the architect, yeah. that uh, you'd prefer to be remembered as an architect. Yes, yes. Ich hab so Sehnsucht, ich hab gehofft, bald wird das Stunde sein.